The Athabasca Basin in northern Saskatchewan holds the world's largest high-grade uranium deposits. Much of that uranium is mined at Cameco's MacArthur River site and hauled by truck to the mill at Key Lake. We are going to take you on a tour of Cameco's Key Lake Mill. We will learn about the process of extracting yellow cake, talk about the science and meet some of the people involved. We will follow our tour guide, Jane Charles, and a group of Northern students as they find out about the milling process at Key Lake. Safety is essential at Cameco, and visitors to the mill have to wear appropriate safety gear while touring. Coveralls, safety glasses, and hard hats must be worn. Let's start the tour by seeing how the ore is received at Key Lake. The ore mixed with water arrives from MacArthur River. The mixture is unloaded into storage tanks, ground with lower grade ore and pumped to the mill. As a truck driver pulls into the ore receiving facility, a mill operator in the control room is getting ready to guide the operation. The operator watches the truck unloading on camera from the control room. The high-grade MacArthur ore is mixed with lower-grade ore and ground in huge mills to ensure an even consistency. The solution will move through the pipes and tanks at the mill, undergoing processes that will separate the uranium from the rest of the rock. Cameco employs mechanical engineers to plan, design and maintain the functions of the tanks and pumps needed at the mill. The mechanical processes basically uh, carry the material through to enable the chemical processes to do their job. There's many steps in the process which all require pumping, piping, storage tanks, uh, pressure vessels, the crushing and grinding uh, has a lot of mechanical processes which uh, have, a, uh, again, a specific role in, in uh, making the product so that the chemical processes can, can do their job to precipitate out the yellow cake. In engineering, you, you have to have your maths and your physics. Uh, most people who go into engineering are, uh, find math very easy and it makes engineering a lot easier because it's very math-based. But math and physics, and, and uh, it's a benefit to have your grade 12 calculus before you go into engineering. I grew up in Big River, Saskatchewan, and I went to U of S. Engineering is a great potential career choice for Northern students. The entire milling process is run by operators from control rooms in the mill. The liquid slurry is pumped into giant vessels in the leaching section of the mill. At leaching, uranium in the ore is separated from the host rock by dissolving it with sulfuric acid. From leaching, the solution flows to eight huge tanks for further separation. Here, trapped uranium is washed out of the slurry. Uranium in solution form is separated from waste solids through a series of thickeners. The flow in the thickener tanks goes in opposite directions to help separate the solids. The uranium solution proceeds to the solvent extraction circuit where it's purified and concentrated through a series of chemical reactions. The uranium transfers within the mixture which is then sent to a settling chamber where it separates into two distinct parts, uranium bearing solution and water. The water is then drained off for treatment and the uranium bearing solution continues through the mill. We have seen how chemistry is used to separate the uranium from other elements. Cameco has a chemistry lab at Key Lake. 
Chemists and lab technicians analyze samples to ensure the mill is running smoothly. Hi, my name is John DeCorby. I'm the chief chemist here at Key Lake. The chemistry lab essentially has a twofold uh, purpose here at Key Lake. Uh, one is for quality control and process. Uh, so samples come from all different parts of the operation. We're responsible for ensuring that it meets certain quality control criteria. Uh, we also are responsible for uh, doing all the environmental monitoring samples that come to the Key Lake lab. So uh, just to ensure that they meet specifications for effluent release to the environment. The lab at Key Lake has a staff of approximately 20 people that are trained in the chemical technology field, either through the Northlands College program at the Range or uh, through the SIAS program at Kelsey Campus in Saskatoon. High school students that have an interest in working in the chemistry lab should ensure that they obtain their grade 12 chemistry and math so that they can move on to the chemical technology programs either through Northlands College or through SIAS. The next section of the mill is called precipitation. The uranium solution from the solvent extraction circuit is pumped into a precipitation tank where ammonia gas is added to return the uranium to a solid form. The solid is called yellow cake and for a short time truly is yellow. The yellow cake is pumped to an oven where it is baked at 840 degrees Celsius to remove impurities. The oven is so hot that it turns the yellow cake black. Dry yellow cake from the oven is screened and conveyed to a storage bin. All the circuits are controlled by mill operators. They are in charge of monitoring the circuits, taking samples and making adjustments to the systems. The milling circuits are primarily monitored from control rooms. From here, the operator can observe on screen the processes throughout the mill. A mill operator's duties are to monitor the areas of the process. They collect samples throughout the day, and sometimes throughout the day they'll have uh, breakdowns of equipment, so they're required to go and to take that piece of equipment offline and put another piece of equipment online. There is a course now that takes place in Meadow Lake where they can go to kind of start them off in, in that field to uh, becoming a mill, a mill operator. In the final stage of the uranium milling process, the yellow cake is packed for shipment. From the storage bin, dry yellow cake is packaged into steel drums. Drums of yellow cake are loaded on transport trailers. The drums are labeled for their destination and trucked to the Cameco refinery at Blind River and other processors. The mill must process its tailings and water to make them safe for release to the environment. This is done in the bulk neutralization section. Bulk neutralization cleans the contaminants from water and materials left over after the milling operation. The water released must meet strict standards and samples are taken on a regular basis. The samples from monitoring ponds and the environment around Key Lake are collected by environmental monitoring technicians. Samples are tested in the lab to ensure standards are kept and that the environment is safe. My job here is to uh, collect water samples, air samples, and do, do the site monitoring. Once we collect the samples here, we uh, take this, we'll be taken to the chemistry lab and they'll be, they'll be uh, analyzed to see what's in it. Any of the water that we use for process water uh, is treated on site and once it meets the, uh, the standards given to us, it gets uh, released. It doesn't get released unless it meets or exceeds 
the guidelines given to us. The Dahlm and Tailings Management Facility holds the mill tailings under 50 meters of water in a stable rock formation. Raw water from dewatering wells around the tailings facilities is pumped to the reverse osmosis plant for treatment. The reverse osmosis plant puts the water through a cleaning process that removes the impurities before release back to the environment. Plant operators are on hand to ensure everything runs smoothly. The clean water from the reverse osmosis plant is released at Horsefly Lake. Because of the reverse osmosis process, this water is as pure as average drinking water. One does not have to go far from the Key Lake site to be in the northern wilderness. The scenery at the Wheeler River, a few kilometers from camp, is second to none. Chemical employees at Key Lake have recently achieved significant accomplishments in safety and environmental standards, including the world record in safe production and over a year with no lost time accidents. For over 30 years, the Key Lake operation has had a low impact on the environment. No one lives permanently at the site. Workers fly in and out on a seven-day rotation. The camp has the comforts of home and a kitchen that is second to none. But when their shift is over, workers fly back to their homes in northern or southern Saskatchewan and leave the sands of the Athabasca Basin behind. Many trades and professions, including mechanical engineers, chemists, mill operators, and environmental technicians, have contributed to a safe and successful uranium processing operation at Key Lake. The yellow cake they produce goes to markets around the world, fueling nuclear power plants that are part of the clean air solution. Residents of northern Saskatchewan have helped build and maintain a world-class plant. Many opportunities are available for those with an interest in science and the environment.